So I thought I'd start a series of videos on some of the tools that I have. I thought I'd start with hammers because why not? I've collected these over the years. Uh, some I bought new, some were gifts, some came from a garage sale. This little tiny one came out of a little tiny uh, home repair kit that my grandmother gave to me and my ex-wife right when we got married. It's actually seen quite a bit of use. And for a tiny hammer, it's, it's held up really well. Originally, it was a bright pink hammer, but now it's kind of faded. A couple of old tack hammers that my oldest son and I actually did an experiment and used electrolysis to get all the rust off. I don't know where this one came from, but it's a nice little lightweight hammer. I need to tighten up the head. It's a little loose small ball peen hammer that will eventually go to one of my sons because it belonged to their great grandfather and this was my grandpa's ball peen hammer and i know it needs a new handle but i keep it like this for nostalgia reasons he used it for years and it still it still works in fact kind of fits with the thumb uh so i don't I think I'm going to put a new head on it. Bigger ball peen hammer that I don't really use, but came from a garage sale. And I think I caught, I paid a quarter for it. Here's my two workhorses. I don't remember where I bought them, but you know, claw hammers are always useful. My dad gave me this old framing hammer. It does need a new handle, but my dad fixed it the way he fixes a lot of things when it cracked with duct tape. And it's been like this for 10 years at least. This is a mallet with, I think, leather on the ends that came from a garage sale. This is a really neat little sledge. I think it's for working metal or doing metal work. Again, garage sale find. Same with this one, which I know it's rusted. And pitted but it's got a lot of personality to it uh, the old rubber mallet and then this has been my go-to Stanley synthetic uh, sledge pounding hammer for whatever um, and uh, I've had that for a good 15 years and it's held up but all of these hammers have uses for all kinds of things around the house. Not so much woodworking, sometimes woodworking. But this is my hammer collection. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I do find that garage sales, tag sales, whatever you call it in the part of the world that you are, look for old tools. There's a lot of life left in them. And... Uh, you never have enough hammers because every time you need one, you can't seem to find one. Hope you enjoyed the video. Love to know what hammers y'all use and why.